Hello everyone, my name is Atik and I am an aerospace engineer at the Boeing company. Few days ago in my channel and also when I was talking with one of the higher study aspirants from Bangladesh, I received a very interesting question. Actually it was more like a confusion than a question and I had the same confusion also when I was an, uh, a student and I, when I was pursuing my Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering in Bangladesh. So his question is that he is uh, mainly concerned about what is the difference between aerospace engineering and aeronautical engineering is actually. Uh, because he is studying aeronautical engineering in Bangladesh but when he see all the degrees provided in the graduate level in the USA they are known by aerospace engineering. So he is mainly thinking okay because I am studying aeronautical engineering will it be a problem for me to pursue those aerospace engineering degree in my masters or phd level so in today's video i'm going to discuss about it and when i will discuss i will discuss uh, both in prospect of bangladesh and also in the usa because uh, the interpretation both in bangladesh and usa is very very different different okay so let's first discuss about bangladesh in bangladesh mostly the degree is provided by two of the government uh, universities MIST and Bangabandhu Sheikh Mojibur Rahman Aviation and Aerospace University. The degree they provide is Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering. And in this aeronautical engineering program, they divide the students between avionics and aerospace. Okay, so aerospace, uh, this major, they mainly study the. In my another video, I said they mainly study the mechanical or structural part of the airplane. And in the avionics side, they mainly study about the autopilot, electronics, and uh, other electrical system of the airplane. This is the main difference. Okay, but then when it comes to the United United States or USA, this interpretation is completely different. And uh, let's go back to Bangladesh. Uh, do some additional discussion. In Bangladesh also in the job sector when the student after their graduation they enter to the airlines different airlines in Bangladesh they are also they are divided uh, into two division like the university aerospace and avionics okay but in the airlines their uh, terminology is different for the aerospace people like those who are expert in the mechanical or structural part or the engine part of the airplane they are known as B1 that is Bravo B for Bravo Bravo 1 or B1 and the people those who are coming from the avionics background or electrical uh, background of the airplane they are known as b2 okay so this is the b1 is aerospace and b2 is avionics so in bangladesh if i say you will study aeronautical engineering then you will choose either you will take the aerospace track or the mechanical track of the airplane or you will take the avionics or electrical track of the airplane this is the major two division in bangladesh and that is how we are differentiate in we differentiate this aeronautical engineering program uh, also the job prospect in Bangladesh but when it come to come to USA it's very very different okay in USA most of the university they call it aerospace engineering so then I'm studying aeronautical engineering is it becoming a problem for me to pursue the aerospace engineering program in the USA the answer is no absolutely no but for your better understanding you should know how the thing work in the UN, united states okay <clears throat> so let's first talk about aerospace engineering so likewise in bangladesh when this major was started teaching in the united states they also called it aeronautical engineering like i'm talking about uh, the year when this course was a very newborn baby in the united states like the time of uh, 1994 or 1920 this period uh, this major is called aeronautical engineering in the usa then what happened uh, after that this aeronautical engineering program was named aerospace engineering what was the driving force behind it okay so if we go back to the history first development of the flying vehicles was the airplane helicopter was invented later and spacecraft it was invented even after that so when airplane was invented by the wright brothers there was a necessity of uh, opening a new major opening a new subject where the people will uh, have the specialized knowledge of airplane this flying vehicle so this major was named during that time aeronautical engineering but the problem started begin when another new arena was opened and that was aerospace engineering like the vehicles 
uh, which go beyond the earth atmosphere so if we consider airplane and helicopter their propulsion system is air breathing propulsion like the engine they used this engine produced the power by using the air molecule or they produce the lift the force that held them to fly by using the aerodynamic force and this aerodynamic force is produced by the air molecule available in this earth atmosphere okay but when you consider any spacecraft they go beyond the earth atmosphere where there is no air molecule or there is no abundance of air molecule and their propulsion system and the methodology or the process they used this spacecraft to go from one point to another point is very different from the philosophy or the principle used by the air breathing uh, vehicles like airplane or helicopter so hence the necessity of opening a new branch of this aeronautical engineering become an essential then they come up with a new division or new major which is known as astronautical engineering so one was aeronautical engineering which mainly uh, focus on airplane helicopters or the flying vehicles that is powered by the air breathing propulsion or the flying vehicles that use the aerodynamic force to produce the produce the force to keep them flying in the air okay then uh, as I said, the new branch was opened when the space exploration became popular. So then the new division name was called the astronautical engineering. Now we have two different major or two different uh, division of the flying vehicles. One is aeronautical, another one is astronautical. But they have something in common which you need to study uh, as an aer aeronautical engineering student and also as an astronautical engineering student. Then they come to a decision, okay, let's open a common major called something else uh, apart from aeronautical engineering and astronautical engineering, which will have actually two major division, aeronautical and astronautical. And then they came up with this major common name, which is the aerospace engineering. So, in the United States and other developed countries like UK, Australia, after that when the space program became so popular, so they came and changed the name of this uh, major. From aeronautical engineering, they changed it to aerospace engineering. Now under the aerospace engineering umbrella, you have two major tracks. One is aeronautical, that the people who will mainly focus on the flying vehicles, those who use the air breathing propulsion or they use the lifting force from the air molecule or the aerodynamic force okay and another division is the astronautical engineering which division discuss with the flying vehicles who is who act, which actually moves uh, outside of the earth atmosphere so this aeronautical engineering and astronautical engineering they are put under the umbrella of aerospace engineering so a new major named which is aerospace engineering instead of aeronautical engineering because the expansion of the knowledge in this field so in usa if you want to pursue a degree in this field your degree name will be mostly bachelor of science or master of science or phd in aerospace engineering and under this aerospace engineering you can either choose the track of aeronautical engineering or the astronautical engineering so if i make a summary in terms of usa i can say that all aeronautical engineer all or astronautical engineers are aerospace engineer but all aerospace engineers are not aeronautical engineer or all aerospace engineers are not astronautical engineer so this is the conclusion that i was able to came if you have any better explanation please let me know and i hope you now have a better understanding of what is aeronautical engineering or what is aerospace engineering or what is astronautical engineering both in in the prospect of bangladesh and also in prospect of united states canada australia or any other european countries i hope uh, you have a solid understanding by this time i wish you all the best and if you have any further question please feel free to drop a comment below i will try to reply Otherwise, I wish you all the best and have a nice rest of the day. Bye.